Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Alan and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing this new NASM USB condenser mic, which you guys can see right over here behind me. And uh, NASM did send this one to me for free to check out. And it's uh, $47 on Amazon at the time of making this video. I'll have it listed down in the description for you guys if, you, or if you're interested. Um, also, we're going to talk about everything that it comes with, the build quality, the features, and we'll also do some sound tests. So be sure to stick around and we'll go ahead and get started. And let's talk about everything that this microphone includes. So you do get the microphone and the stand, and you also get a USB cable, and then a windscreen, the user's guide, uh, then some contact information with an email if you have any problems. And that's it. That's all it comes with. And I think the build quality is probably the best thing about this microphone. It's built really well. Uh, the stand and the microphone are all metal with a metal grill, so it feels really solid, and I really feel like it would last a long time. don't think you'll have any problems at all with the build quality. Let's talk about the features. So it does have a cardioid polar pattern, so it's gonna pick up you know, mostly what's in front of it and just a little bit kind of off to the sides and behind, but mostly what's in front. And then it also has a headphone input so you can monitor your levels right from the microphone. So that's always a really nice feature that I appreciate. And it doesn't have uh, any sort of volume or gain control on the microphone. So you do have to control everything through your computer. So that's a little bit of a downside. Um, the cable that comes with this is nice and long. It's about eight feet, so that's uh, longer than most, and that'll allow you plenty of room to kind of get away from your computer, or if you need to, you know, gives you a little bit of flexibility there. So you can definitely use this for uh, podcasting. You could use it for any sort of voiceover work, YouTube videos, basically anything where you need good audio that's uh, maybe better than your like built-in microphone on your laptop, um, something like that. But that wraps it up for the features. And let's go ahead and talk about the sound quality. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of change angles so you guys can see that I am using now the uh, NASM USB microphone for this section of the video. And at the beginning of the video, I was using a uh, Shure SM7B microphone, which is obviously a totally different type of mic in a completely different price range. But uh, this one is $47. That one's uh, around $400, I think. Yeah. Um, so you can kind of compare those, but do keep in mind they're very different types of mics. Uh, so as far as the sound of this one, I do like the sound quality. I think it sounds really nice. A couple of things, though, I do think you're only probably going to want to get this microphone if you have a treated space that doesn't have a lot of uh, kind of excess no uh, noise in the room. So like if you know if you're going to be using this somewhere where um, heating and air is going to be kicking on a lot, it's going to pick that sound up. And then uh, also, let's see what else, um, uh, like reverb from the room. You know, I do think you're going to want some like sound panels or something. I actually have, I don't have sound panels on this wall, so I just threw some pillows up <laughs> real quick um, <laughs> because it was catching some of that sound. Um, so I think as long as you're prepared for that and have kind of a treated space, I think you'll be fine with this type of mic. So just be sure you know what you're getting. Uh, and then also, um, I do wish it came with a boom arm. That would help you get the uh, microphone up a little bit closer to your mouth to where you can keep the gain lower and not have to worry quite as much about that kind of uh, you know room noise. But it does sound really nice. Um, so I don't really have any complaints about the sound quality besides just knowing that you need kind of a uh, studio environment to use it well. To finish this video off, I do think for the price, this is a nice quality microphone. The build quality is very good, and then the uh, sound quality is also quite good as well. I do think, though, you want to be sure that you are you know what you're getting, and be sure that you probably only get this microphone if you have like a treated um, studio space, because if you do have a lot of reverb and stuff in your room, with this being a condenser microphone, it's really going to pick up a lot of that excess noise. Or if you have like loud PC fans, you know, I probably would steer clear of this one. So just be sure you know what you're getting, and probably only get this if you have kind of a dedicated space for recording and I do wish it came with a boom arm like I said for optimal you know microphone position I do think it would sound a little bit better if it was a little closer to your mouth uh, so that's one downside but overall for the price of $47 it's a nice quality mic that's built really well and does have good sound quality well guys I think that's going to wrap it up for my review thank you so much for watching uh, if you enjoyed this video just be sure to hit the like button and you can subscribe as well if you're not already and also you can hit the notification bell if you want to be sure you don't miss any future uploads. And I did start a Patreon uh, page, so you can check that out in the description too if you want to help support the channel even more. Well, thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.